Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. In today's video, we'll be looking at the top 10 best mono black commanders in MTG. Yes, the series I started in about August, I'm finally continuing. Sorry for the uh, very long gap in between. A little bit naughty that, out of order. As per the previous two videos in this series, this list is entirely listed on the opinions of the wonderful people over at Reddit and Facebook, and not my own terrible, terrible choices. Please do like this video and hit that subscribe button, show your love for all things Magic the Gathering. Just read the note! Now, let's get right into the list. Just making the list as the 10th best mono black commander, we have Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. Are you kidding me? Now, this was one creature I was not expecting to make this list, as it's incredibly rare you'd ever see a creature with no effects in a commander deck at all, but I do appreciate it now seeing all of its Voltron potential. Get this 9-3 Hungry Frog out quick and just start going mad on those equipments. Give it Trample, Lifelink, Double Strike, Vigilance and everything else and just start making it the biggest threat on the board. Of course, pack in plenty of those equipment that make Yargle indestructible and pretty soon you'll be saying, Everyone is stupid except me. This deck needs very little creatures as the crazy frog will be your main priority, but you can always add cheap to play walls like crashing drawbridge and suspicious bookcase to protect your life total in the early game. But if you are building this deck, then you absolutely want to make one of your few creatures Brass Squire. Have that tapping option at your disposal and avoid having to spend that extra mana equipping those equipment. In as the ninth best mono black commander, we have Prickly Marmoset Reborn. I wish. However, the real ninth best mono black commander is Drana, Calastria Bloodchief. A really cool vampire that can do serious damage to your opponent's creatures whilst beefing up Drana herself. Make a nice little deck full of deadly vampires and get ready to bite into your opponent's life total. If you want to annoy your opponents and keep sticking down the minus X route, then add cards like Mutilate and Defile. Add in an expedition map and burnished heart and have extra ways to ramp that mana so you can use Drana's ability more and more, which makes a creature like Cryptogast a must have. Tap all those swamps you have for double mana and you've of course got that extra extort ability to really wind up your opponents. For the eighth best mono black commander, we have Marrow Nora. What do you call a rat that lost its leg? A pirate. Yes. Terrible jokes aside, there's only one way we're going here, and that is Rat Tribal. Get in those beloved rats like Pat Rack and Rat Colony. Maybe whack in 10 Rat Colonies if you fancy it. Get in those rare, non-rat, rat-loving cards like Piper of the Swarm and Rat Catcher. Give those rats menace and start tutoring for even more rats. A very popular and powerful deck that can get super wide and out of control before you know it. There are just so many rat options available too, which makes dealing with a deck like this really hard to do. For non-creature recommendations, you have to pop in the duo of Bontu's Monument and Skull Clamp. Make those black spells extra cheap and have Skull Clamp as that drawing card option as you'll be making so many rats you can afford to let a few go to the graveyard. But the patented Gathering the Magic Card of the Deck Award has to go to Door of Destinies. Choose rat as the creature type and for each rat you play, you'll be strengthening up your rat army even more. A powerful commander that Meme Master Steve over on our Instagram made as his very first commander deck. In as the seventh best mono black commander, we have Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. A very cool commander and one I'd love to have for myself one day, but I think a reason it is so popular in this list is because of how new it is, being one of the cards from M21. And with old Vito, you know we're going super life gain. For creatures, mono black has so many that are cheap to play and have lifelink, so you know they're going straight in the 99. Get in those lifelink loving artifacts, such as Staff of the Death Magus and Whip of Erebos and give all those creatures who don't have lifelink, lifelink. Again, there are so many enchantments out there that give you that little bit of life which will trigger veto and obviously if you really want to be that person, whack in that exquisite blood and sit back and watch the world burn. Just missing out on the top half of the list, at number 6 we have Tiny Bones, Trinket Thief. Discard is the name of the game with Tiny Bones. You want to make sure your opponents have zero cards so you can trigger Tiny's ability and make them lose 10 life each. 
play cards like Necrogen Mists and Bottomless Pit, as well as Oppression and Cunning Lethamancer. Imagine being your opponent, going to your upkeep, knowing you're going to have to discard more cards than you're about to draw. It puts you at an added advantage as your opponents will hold off, not wanting to play too many spells, as they won't want to whittle down their hand sauce to zero or near zero. Having more discard loving options like Painful Quandary and Megrim and you'll be having so much fun. With creatures such as Mind Slicer and Fell Spectre, you'll be forcing your opponents to discard more and more and if your opponents constantly have little to no hand and you're playing stuff constantly, then soon enough you'll be in a super powerful position and win the game. For the fifth best mono black commander, we have Skrithix, the Blight Dragon. A really popular choice among the votes, and you can see why. With this poisonous dragon, you either want to create a deadly infect army, or just go full on Voltron, or why not both? Black and Infect go hand in hand in MTG and there are just so many options at your disposal for those poisonous creatures. Like I said, if you want to go Voltron, then Nightmare Lash and Lash Writhe are essential. Skrithix is going to be so powerful as you only have swamps in Mono Black and with only 10 poison counters needed to kill off your opponent, they could be gone in no time. Swords of Truth and Justice is a must have card in this deck. Go pro white and blue, get a plus one counter and then proliferate. Deal more infect counter damage if you're just that little bit sure. Fill your deck with the abundance of creature removal options available to clear out your opponents one at a time and create a clear path for Skitty to poison its way to victory. Narrowly missing out on the podium places, the fourth best mono black commander is Erebos, God of the Dead. Yes, the indestructible God of Death has many ways to make it an effective commander and who doesn't love the phrase your opponents can't gain life. We're going to be playing cards like Exsanguinate and Torment of Hellfire, playing an abundance of cards that makes our opponents lose life and if we're feeling lucky gain us a load of life too. I'd probably even throw Veto in the 99 here because why the hell not? I do what I want. Getting legendary creatures like Kakusho and Shieldred and more options of taking life and creature graveyard recursion. If you're using Erebos's card draw ability, that goes really well together with Font of Agonies. Gain those counters every time you do and after each fourth time, you get to destroy a creature of your choosing. Why not throw in my beloved Massacre Worm for fun? Attempt a mini board wipe and have your opponents lose even more life when their creatures die. Erebos is a beast of a god and I can see why it is so popular. Popular. Taking the bronze medal spot, the third most popular mono black commander is Ayara, first of Lothwain. And the leap in votes for the final three was mental. Straight away, we have to talk about the most popular combo piece for Ayara, and that is Plague of Vermin. If you're on 40 life, you could pay 39 life to create 39 1 1 rats, triggering Ayara, gaining you 39 life, and dealing 39 damage to your opponents. For a seven mana card, that is disgustingly good. Again, if you've got cards like Zulaport Cutthroat and Viscera Seer, you've got endless options where you can sack a creature at will, triggering Zulaport and gaining even more life. The War of the Spark black staple card that is Bolas's Citadel is essential with Ayara too. With all that life gain, you'll potentially be able to use the Bolas ability to cast many cards off the top of your deck and hopefully have so many creatures enter that you'll be able to use that sack 10 creatures ability and deal 10 damage to each opponent. Ayara is a wicked commander and a card I'm considering making a deck around in the near future. Runner up and the second best mono black commander is Yorgmoth, a Thran physician. Although he's a Thran doctor, he does not care about life. Again, focusing on those minus one, minus one counters to try and get the victory. A common theme among players appears to be focusing on that wither ability. Get out plenty of those mono black creatures with wither, try and get that poison engine going, and then use Yorgmoth's ability to proliferate and add even more minus one counters to your opponents. Whack down a nest of scarabs and get a nice creature engine going whenever Yorgmoth is triggered. Another essential creature has to be Pawn of Ulamog. Playing a deck like Yorgmoth wants you to sack creatures, so why not get the pawn out and get some extra advantage from this? Get an extra Eldrazi chump blocker that you can also sack itself for some extra colourless mana. And finally, get those trusty contagion artifacts out so you can get even more minus one damage on and proliferate away until your opponents rest in peace. And coming in as the best mono black commander, we have Kirik, son of Yorgmoth. Yes, the metaphorical son of Yorgmoth was the clear and away favorite among the Reddit and Facebook people. It's got everything. Lifelink, tick. The ability to pay life instead of black mana, tick. 
plus one plus one counters whenever you play a black spell, tick, tick, tick. Such a strong commander and several ways you can go with it. You can go the standard Shadowborn Apostle slash Demon Tribal if you're feeling extra filthy. For me, I'd definitely go the lifelink pay life option. Get in those standard lifelink black creatures to boost up your life, then prepare to spend life on cards such as Vilis, Necropotence, and of course, the trusty Font of Agonies, as well as other options like the Extort mechanic mentioned briefly earlier to really start chipping away at your opponents and hopefully get the game finished even earlier. As I said at the start, a variety of ways to go with Kirik and a must-have card for all lovers of Mono Black. There we have it, that is the list. Any mono black commanders you think should have been in there? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all things MTG and check out the links to all of our socials in the description down below. For now, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.